This is Halva Finnish Sweet Licorice. Um, and um, just so you know, um, back in the 60s or so, um, fin Finland had the highest rate of heart disease. And Pekka Puska and a team of other scientists got together and they figured out that they needed to get rid of their saturated fats because and they started in northern, uh, the northern part of Finland called Karelia, and it's the, called the North Karelia um, study or something like that. And this is an area that is full of like very, very physically fit people, lumberjacks, farmers, and things like that. But their diet was heavy in uh, meat and cheese. And uh, so what they did is they um, got them to switch off of cheese and onto oil instead. And heart attack rates and stuff like that went down so much that it became a national program. And so Finland went, uh, stopped being the country with the most heart disease. Now, this is, as a finished product, I kind of hoped for the best on this. So it says here that per 100 grams, um, there are 320 uh, um, calories. And as far as the f total fat... There's 0.6 grams of which 0.2 grams are um, saturated fats. The carbohydrates are a total of 76 grams. And I'm sorry, this is per 100 grams, but you have to understand that this this uh, is a 60 gram bar. Um, so it's the numbers I'm giving you are for a larger bar than this. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, sugars um, are 63 grams. And dietary fibers are 1.6 grams, proteins are 3.8 grams, and salt is 0 0.01 grams, or that would also be um, uh, 10 grams, uh, sorry, 10 milligrams. And the sodium itself is 4 milligrams. The reason, the reason I'm reading this to you is because it's written in so many different languages here that it's kind of a pain in the butt to go through all, how many languages is this? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine languages, ten languages. There are ten languages here. So everything here is just for the, the nutrition facts, ten languages. And then if we go to the ingredients, fortunately there aren't a lot of ingredients. So, um, but still they have to list, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, yep, ten. And so um, I'm not really sure of. There's Finland and Sweden and English, Dutch or German. I'm not sure. Um, Italian, Spanish, French. Ne oh, d uh, the Netherlands, and maybe Estonia. I'm not really sure ET what ET means, but uh, the English. Uh, ingredients are the third red thing. That's where it starts. But uh, I'll, I'll read it for you. It's uh, sugar, syrup, wheat flour, which has gluten in it. Uh, sugar, again. Uh, but the first one is sugar syrup. Okay. Licorice extract at 4%. Humectant of sorbitol syrup. Thickener, guar gum. Color, vegetable carbon. Preservative, potassium, sorbate, and flavor. Now, I don't know if that's natural or artificial. It smells like licorice. And I'm happy to have this finished product. I wish I could get more finished products because since they have a fairly good diet there now, it seems like it would make a lot of sense to buy finished products. And then I'll never be finished. <laughs> Sorry. These are um, individual little things, but I'm trying to... I can't get them to separate. Maybe it's because it's too warm or maybe it's not warm enough. I don't know. So, mm. Mm. No licorice, I miss you so. Mm. Mm. Quite nice. Quite tasty. Mm. I would like it to be stronger than it is, but I'll take what I can get. And then since they're so low in saturated fats, I feel pretty fortunate. Mm. 200 milligrams of saturated fats is not that bad. Mm. Uh, yeah. 
Mm. I'll give this a, because it's not as strong as I'd like it to be, I'll give it a seven and a half. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a great day.